Okay, good morning. This is a very different set of lectures, or the start of a very different set of lectures than what I've been doing with my son. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to be working through some lectures out of this book, Geometry Revisited, by Coxeter and Greitzer. It's one of the uh, uh, more influential geometry books to me when I was a kid. And um, I thought I'd go through and give some advanced uh, high school geometry lectures, just, just for fun, working through this book. Today we're going to look at section 1.1 of this book, which is the extended law of sines. Now, uh, and I should say, this, these lectures are geared at advanced, uh, advanced geometry for high school students, so these are really not accessible to young kids uh, at all. So, let's take a look at triangle ABC. You'll remember the law of sines is A over sine A equals b over sine b equals c over sine c. And uh, this book asks a very interesting question that you don't see in most geometry books asked. And I even went through Khan Academy this morning uh, just to look at their proof of the law of sines and it doesn't ask this question either. The question is if they're all equal to each other, are they equal to something special? And the answer turns out to be yes. So here's, here's a very interesting proof. You take the circumcircle of this triangle, there's a the center, sorry I'm probably a little out of practice drawing circles, hopefully this looks okay on the film. Then we draw a radius. Now, we are going to make another angle equal to angle A. Oops, I couldn't so destroyed this marker. Equal to angle A. Right here. So this, this angle and this angle are the same. And the reason they're the same, as you'll remember from your high school geometry classes, that angles that mark out the same arc on a circle, marks out this arc and this angle marks out this arc, angles that mark out those arcs on a circle are the same. So what is sine of alpha equals opposite over the hypotenuse? Notice. Sorry, the second, the second important fact is this triangle is inscribed in a, semi, in a semicircle and that therefore this angle, which is not B in our triangles, it's a new angle, is a right triangle. So sine alpha is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse. Well, what's the opposite angle? It's, it's side A over the diameter of the circumscribed circle of the original triangle, 2R. So in other words, A over sine A equals 2 times the radius of the circumscribed triangle, or circumscribed circle of the triangle. So this is actually a fascinating result, and I have no idea why this isn't mentioned in any uh, of the high school geometry books or high school trig books, wherever the appropriate would, would be. 2R. It's a wonderful result. It's a very simple result to prove. And uh, I remember when I saw this for the first time, I was just astonished. And the exercises, I, you know, this is a wonderful book, so if you can buy the book and follow along, you'll see some, some great results uh, and some great problems. One of the problems uh, asks you to prove that the area of the triangle ABC equals the product of the sides A times B times C over 4 times the radius of the circumscribed circle. So here's it. You, from this result, you can derive a new area formula for a triangle in terms of the sides, different from Hero's formula. Anyway, this is section 1.1. Uh, I'm going to try to do these lectures as frequently as I can, so who knows? Uh, section 1.2 coming soon. Hope you enjoyed it.